Chip Ma. You're not good at interviews. My name is Lottie Monica Naspomete, and I just turned 11. I know we started up on the wrong foot, baby. I'm very lucky to um, have my, my dad and my uncles and my grandpa. I learned to play music like that from my grandpa. Welcome my soul in the bosom of April. Give me little music, make me wind up me wish I said. Bro, I gotta play after this dude. You know what I mean? That's hard. Someone's really talented. We all know this. But like someone's are really talented and it's amazing that someone like Tussi can get a group of them and put them in a film and only have someone act, isn't it? Um, favorite thing to do to relax, bro. Meditate. Yeah. Yeah. Mindfulness. I think just to uh, have a bit of, you know, chill out time to myself. Life in the spotlight. You love it, eh? I think you just gotta embrace it, bro. Like you know, you, you can't get it, get it, let it get to your head. But um. <laughs> so what are you looking at my head for, oh, bro? Oh, you just need to get to your head, but. <laughs> Yeah, I've been dancing for eight years now. I joined the royal family when I was 12. Doing Jason Derulo was amazing. The opportunity Paris gave me and Kirsten was insane. Um, my boyfriend wasn't too happy about it, but he'll get over it. <laughs> That's what I loved about Brady yeah. is I knew her from the street. Get out of my way. But I love that she was still a CEO of a company. She's staunch and yeah. she's um, in control of most yeah. things. Yeah, and that's no different to most Māori women I know. Yeah. If you use the CEO of a corporate building yeah. or a marae yeah. or a home, yeah. Māori women are the CEO everywhere, <laughs> man. Yeah. You know, Polynesian woman, CEO. No, you didn't. I'm from Tauranga Moana, but I'm also from Tuhoi. I guess the reason why I come back here is because I get to breathe I get to be free from myself. Everywhere else, I'm stand walking, I have to be stand walking, but when I come here, I get to be no one, and it's mean. There's a lot of even Māori who say, you know, we own the land. We don't, we're just here to look after the land. We are the land. You know what? I don't swear. <laughs> get the back here. No Groundbreaking. That often. <laughs> my dad is Tongan and my mum is very Palangi. Hence the caramel, mocha, if you will. I've never been to Tonga. I've been to all the islands, but I've never been here. And I think I was putting it off because I really wanted to come with my dad. I do feel a little bit plastic and um, I was joking about it yesterday because I don't like raw fish. <laughs> But hey, I know heaps of Polynesians that don't like r raw fish. Anyway. Just want to do my first joke. If they don't laugh, then it's going to be a, probably a 10 minute show. But uh, if they laugh, then it'll definitely be 12 minutes. Just to help the Palangis to, to, to know the difference from Tongan and Samoan. The Tongans have the big feet, the Samoans have the hair on the, between the toes. <laughs> Nobody in the world knows how beautiful this place is. And any, anything you see on video or camera does not do it justice. I love the people. I've never met such nice, beautiful people in my life. And these people are my family. I love the potholes. They make it unique. The food. I love going to Anaana, -ana, sitting on the, on, on the rocks and just watching the, the water spray up when it, when it hits the, the cliff. A lot of people don't understand I'm a big fan of the herbs. And that's why I had to do hip hop last night. It was the most beautiful sight. Any artist would stand there and be in awe of the greatness of our people. It confirmed everything we, more than we ever dreamed of. I don't want to be anything other than an island artist, representing our cultures, our languages.